Hey guys, Kieran here again, and today's lesson, it's uh, a song called She's American by The 1975. Um, this is obviously an acoustic tutorial, um, and you'll need a capo to play this song. Um, you put that on the 5th fret. Uh, I'm gonna know mine's on the 7th, but my guitar is doing a whole step down, so I need it on the 7th to make it sound like it's on the 5th. But you guys, put on the 5th and it'll sound just like this. Uh, so this song uses 4 chords um, and there's not a lot of movement, it's, it's a real easy beginner song. Um, so for the whole song your 3rd finger and your pinky will be on the highest string and the 2nd string on the 3rd fret and then these two fingers will just be moving around slightly to make the chords. Um, so you need to know a C add 9. I'm just going to call these by C, G, E, uh, and F sharp. So it's just by the bass note, really. So C is like that. So second finger on the third fret of the fifth. First finger on the second fret of the fourth. Second chord is an E minor. So just make an E minor shape, uh, first finger, second fret of the se uh, fifth string, second finger, second fret of the fourth. And then the next chord, you move your first finger up one string, and your second finger down one string. And what you, what you want to try and do is mute the fifth string with your first finger. We're just resting it down. You don't have to do that, but uh, naturally I think it just happens anyway with the positioning um, of that finger. And then the last chord is just a regular G. So second finger, sixth string of the third fret, first finger, fifth string of the second fret. You can play G like that, so again muting the fifth string and just taking your first finger off. Or you can just play a regular G with your first finger on there as well. So, getting into this, there's one strum pattern which pretty much goes through the whole song and then just changes slightly for the bridge. And there's a few times where you just uh, hit in the chord and let it ring as well. Um, but I've just uh, come up with two strum patterns. So, strum pattern one will be playing for the intro verse pre-chorus and chorus, and then strum pattern 2 will just be for the bridge. Um, so strum pattern 1 will be down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And these strum patterns and all the chords within the description as well, just in the case uh, you miss anything. So that's strum pattern 1, which pretty much goes for the whole song. And then strum pattern 2 for the bridge. I'll, uh, I'll explain that when I get to it. So you can play a little intro this, to this song as one if you want. Uh, but you don't have to. You can just go straight into the verse if you want. Um, but the, the intro chords is exactly the same as the verse. Um, so the intro you can play this C for one time the strum pattern. And then... Half the strum pattern each on an E to this F sharp. So when I say half the strum pattern, uh, in the description, in the strum pattern, I'll put a slash to where you got to change to the next chord uh, when I say it's half the strum pattern. So just an example of that sound like this. So. be one time round for the regression. Um, with the intro it's four times around the regression uh, but on the last time don't go to this E minor from the C, go to the F and just hit it once, reds against the verse. So that'll sound like this.
So the verse is that progression. Um, so the C for a whole strum pattern, E for half, F sharp for half. But instead of playing four times around, you play it for eight times around. Um, and so for on the odd numbers on the one, three, five, and seven. Um, that's where the lyrics and the singing is, and then you've just got on the on the even numbers on the two, the four, the six, and the eight time round. Um, just a little uh, instrumental section where the guitar's playing. Um, but when I sing it, you'll uh, you'll understand what I mean. And in those little in instrumental sections, you can just do some like hammer on stuff with your first finger on this C. Um, but in the strum pattern, I'll. I'll show you where those little bits are, um, but if I just play it now, uh, then you can get a sense of uh, what I'm talking about. So, um, so that verse will sound like this. singing there that's where the you can do a little hammer on thing with the C uh, but you don't have to do that it just sort of adds to the feel of the song as well um, you can do little hammer ons anywhere if you want on this E minor on this F sharp you can hammer on there um, but it's just little flourishes you can add if you want but you don't have to okay so after the verse you go into the pre-chorus um, and it's one strum pattern long on that C again and then you do a split drum pattern between G and F sharp. And then you do one drum pattern on the C. And then you build up on this F sharp where it's going to the chorus. So that's pre chorus to sound like this. So the chorus is half strum pattern on a G, half strum pattern on a C, half strum pattern on an E, and then half strum pattern on an F sharp. So that's one time for the progression, and that goes around eight times. Um, so yeah, each chord is just half the strum pattern, uh, and that'll sound like this. And she likes it cause we just don't need it the verse as well you can do like hammer-ons with the C, the G, uh, just any of the chords. So you can just do hammer-ons with your first finger, hammer it onto the strings and off the strings. And on this F sharp you can use your second finger as well. You don't have to do that, it's just little flourishments you can do. Uh, so going into verse 2 now, uh, he changes up the feel of the song slightly, he changes up the chord progression um, and the rhythm slightly as well. Um, so with this he changes to an E minor uh, for one time the strum pattern, F sharp for one time the strum pattern and then this
this C for two times this drawing pattern. And that progression goes around four times. Um, so with this, with the E minor and the F sharp, you can just hit it once and let it ring. Um, and then when you get to the C, you can start strumming and doing some hammer-ons if you want. Um, so I'll just uh, show you what that'll sound like and then just touch on it again. Just like in the previous verse where the, 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 um, there's no singing, um, that's where you do some of the hammer on the C. Um, but like I say, all the chords, all the strum patterns will be in the description. Um, so moving into pre-chorus, uh, the next pre-chorus is exactly the same as the previous pre-chorus. Um, and then you go into the next chorus, which is exactly the same as the previous chorus. And then you get to the bridge. So with the bridge, you uh, change up the strumming just ever so slightly. Um, so instead of strumming pattern one, you go to strumming pattern two, and that'll just be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So the chords for this, you start on a, on a C for one strumming pattern, a G for one strumming pattern. And that uh, progression's played twice, so that'll sound like this. Well, you Second time the progression, we go C, G, E, F sharp. Uh, from the G to the E, you can put in a little F sharp in there. Uh, so it would be C for one strum button, G for one, G for half a strum button, F sharp for half, and then E for a full strum button, and then F. So you're just doing like a little bass from there. Um, and then after that, you go into the final chorus. Um, so the first half of this chorus, you can just do single strums because it's sort of broken down a little bit, and then you can um, go into the full strumming at the end if you want. Or alternatively, you can just go into the full strumming straight away, um, depending on the feel you want to get from this song. So I'll just play an example of what you can do, um, but you can do what you want with this last chorus really. So um, yeah, I'll just play it now. Well, you face twice but you don't have to you can just end on a G straight away if you want 
um, but you can do. Um, so yeah, I think I've covered everything there. Like I say, the two strumming patterns will be in the description, as well as all the chords. Um, so once you've got all the chords of this song, you can, in certain areas, you can just let them ring. You can just have fun with this song, really. Um, because there's not a lot of movement in the hands, um, you can just do what you want. Um, but this is just a nice blueprint to, to follow by. Um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've got many more videos on my channel, and I'll be doing um, a lot more songs like this from 975, uh, as many as well as, well as many others. So, um, if you got any questions about the tutorial, uh, you got any um, songs of the future you want me to cover, um, then by all means put them in the comments. Um, so yeah, until next time, peace out.